This week, the hot debate in artificial intelligence is around personalization. Personalization means enabling large language models to remember things. For example, OpenAI has released a new feature of ChatGPT to have a memory for an assistant. In this video, I will be showing you how you can implement that sort of memory with large language models locally by using this FHIR data. We will still be using OpenAI's GPT-4, but you can replace it with any other model. If that model supports it, all you need to do is to just change the configuration in FHIR data. And I have various other videos where I have gone into detail as how to use this FHIR data tool, which is an open source free tool. And the primary purpose of FHIR data is to build AI assistants with memory, knowledge and tools. Before I show you how to do that, few more things on this memory or new controls of these models. So when we say that we are enabling the memory for these LLMs, all we are saying is that we are enabling these models to remember things we discuss with them for future chats to have a reference. Now, the way this memory works is quite interesting. For example, as we chat with the model, we can ask the model to remember something specific or even let it pick up details itself. The memory of models is still rudimentary at a very, very early stage, but I'm more than sure it is going to get better as we more use it. My only concern is that when we are using these closed source models like GPT-4, Gemini, Anthropics, Cloud models, and they are remembering stuff about us, there is no way we can delete that, erase that, edit that, or ask them to not to use it for any other purpose. How would I know that whatever I'm sharing with these closed source models is not being used as a data set for any other person, company, or I have no idea how OpenAI is using my data. For example, if I'm telling ChatGPT or whatever the model is, the closed source one that my favorite coffee shop is this one in my neighborhood. So it knows that approximate location where I live. So you can see that where I am going, this could get personal very, very soon. And no idea, for example, if someone asked ChatGPT about myself, maybe ChatGPT or any other model for that matter would tell it about my personal information. Having said that, now you know what exactly this memory stuff is all about. And we badly need some guardrails around it. So let me show you locally how you can get it implemented by using this OpenAI. Let me take you to my local system. This is my local system Ubuntu where I am using one GPU card of 22 GB of VRAM because this is an API based demo. So you don't really need that much GPU. You can even run it on CPU. Let me clear the screen. Now, next up, I will be creating a Conda environment because I will just keep everything nice and simple and clean. If you don't know how to use Conda, please search the channel and you should be able to find a video about it. So I'm using Conda's version 24.1.2. So let me clear the screen and create a Conda environment. I'm just creating a Conda environment called as 5 memory with Python 3.11. Let's wait for it to get installed. Just press Y here and it is going to create that environment for you. Let's activate it and you will see it on the left hand side in parenthesis that it is now activated. Awesome stuff. Let's clear the screen. Now in the next step, let's git clone the repo of file data and I will also drop the link to it in video's description. Let's clone it. That should be done soon. And that is done. Let's go into this file data from here in order to use a personalization let's go to um, cd cookbook and then example and then personalization that is done let's do ls ltr to make sure a requirement file is there there it is let's clear the screen now in the next step before we proceed further make sure that you have set your openai's api key like this openai underscore api underscore key is equal to and just put your key in 
you can get the key from platform.openai.com it is a paid option just drop in ten dollars in their account and you should be able to get the key which you can use so let me set my key here and clear the screen i have set my api key and now let's install all the requirements by doing pip install requirement.txt let's press enter and it is going to install all the requirements all the packages in your in virtual environment so let's wait for it to finish and i will clear the screen that is done also make sure that docker is installed i already have docker installed if you don't know how to do it i already have a video please search the channel now let's go back a couple of directories back and run this helper script which is run underscore pg vector also make sure that it is in this directory um, which i have just shown you there is our help, helper script so let me go here that will be better and now let's run it here and then wait for it it is going to download that docker image so let's wait for it all the layers are done let's clear the screen and now simply run streamlit run app.py and it is going to start the application and you can see that now the application is running in our browser at this url at port 8501 so let me access that and there you go you can see that application running locally in your browser you can add your username here maybe i'll just say fahad and then as i press enter it is going it is showing me that i can use this gpt 40 or even turbo hopefully we can also integrate it with the local llms and then on the left hand side you can select your tools web search you can add your assistant or if you have any custom assistant i'm more than sure you can add that and you can add url to your knowledge base you can use your own files to talk to and you can do a lot of stuff here now on the right hand side you can see that it is saying that i'm your personal assistant called optimus v7 if you go to your platform.openai i'm more than sure you will see that it has created it there and you can just say that i am fahad and i am an ai engineer an ai youtuber presenter you see that is running the update underscore memory there you go I live in Sydney. There you go. And now you can just ask it what do I what do Fahad does? There you go. Amazing. How can I assist with you more specific details or tar? How do you use my personal information it says that please be assured that your personal info is kept confidential and is used only for improving the assistance i can provide to you okay um so you don't use my info for your own training okay we have to take their word for it but anyway really good stuff as you can see that it is keeping our memory and personalized memory of course with the help of fire data um, really heads off to the creator of this tool i have been using it for quite some time really really shines through i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what do you think implement it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching